Binge the full week of The Ray Taylor Show ad-free over at Patreon.com slash Inspired Disorder. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. Rona Days! This is the 75th episode of the show where I just talk about my week. Because I'm living in the, the Rona Days, man. Um, I'm just my week in the Rona days, man, trying to survive this pandemic stuff, man, which will probably go on forever. So this show will go on forever. Uh, but yeah, this is where I recap my week, talk about myself, which I don't, you know, sometimes I do. Uh, but anyway, my week made some changes. You know, haven't been feeling good. Talked a lot about my stress, my depression. Uh, you know, and I, there's a lot of things I do to try and uh avoid that to to help reduce those things and uh you know i'm doing a little bit more one of the things i'm doing taking a little break taking a break from a couple things uh taking a break from alcohol you know just a break i just it was i don't know it's too much and it was like it's just i just need i it's just something that i take breaks from anyway it just gets in the way you know, just it helps the clarity of it. And plus there's like, especially once I start feeling like I'm getting buried by things that I haven't finished, it's it's like the easiest way to just get back on track with everything. So I'm doing that. I'm also cutting out coffee, which is crazy because I, I, I like coffee. I, you know, I enjoy having drinking a, something with stimulants in it in the morning to help me wake up, especially if I was drinking the night before. They go hand in hand, drinking coffee the morning after, uh, you know, drinking uh, booze. Uh, but, I'm yeah, I'm taking a break from coffee, mostly because the way I make my coffee, I make a giant jug of cold brew, which is actually easy. But just the process of grinding the coffee and putting it in the bag and making, just like, I don't even want to deal with it. Just, I, I haven't felt like wanting to deal with it. And it's just, I don't know. It just, and... Maybe the caffeine also potentially not helping the anxiety. So I'm just taking a break. I'm taking a break. I've kind of been in a transition, just like not feeling it, not feeling like making the coffee in general. But then anyway, so and I wanted to get into tea because tea is a very versatile type of a drink. Uh, there's, I've had valerian root tea in the past, which really helps valerian root in general. I've taken valerian root supplements. I've made valerian root tea, but it really helps calm me down, uh, and relax me. It's also, it helps go to sleep, but it also helps with, uh, just if I'm in like pain, like muscle pain, or, uh, if I'm stressed out when I was really stressed out last year. Uh, That was a supplement that I took a lot of, valerian root. Um, So, like, I know there's, like, different types of teas you can get to do different things. Um, So I figured, let's get into tea. I ordered myself a teapot that has a little infuser. Because I made some uh, ginger lemon tea with actual, I cut up some ginger, cut up some lemon, and then basically just pour hot water over it and let it steep for a little bit uh which is delicious and i'm like you know what even though it's like a hot drink and i prefer cold drinks uh it felt good to drink it so it's like okay well let's see and i I went on amazon which you know obviously i put shouldn't be spending money on amazon but what are you gonna do hopefully bezos uh it goes crazy on one of his space missions, comes back and donates all of his money to end, like, end homelessness and hunger and, and uh, you know, just he could do every, with his money that he has, that he makes every day, he could fix a lot of things. Uh, so maybe, who knows. Um, but yeah, I went on there just to see what kinds of teas they had. And... Uh, geared towards different things so i checked out stress so there's this company which is this is not a commercial for if they want to sponsor me that would be amazing uh it's called vita cup and yesterday they have two of them they have this genius one that has mct oil turmeric 
in vitamin B, and it's a black chai coffee, or tea, I'm sorry. Uh, and then we have an herbal blend of de-stress tea, which that's the one that, uh, uh, it's a little bit, can't really see it. Um, this one has uh, L-theanine, valerian root, and vitamin B. Uh, I drank two cups of this uh, de-stressor yesterday, and they, they're just normal tea bags. Um, and it worked great. It was like a nice blend because the valerian root really kind of knocks you out. Uh, but the, uh, they both have vitamin B, which is good, I guess. Um, and L-theanine, I remember, I forget where I heard about that, but that being a good thing. But yeah, the de-stress thing definitely calmed me out, definitely smooth, definitely like, definitely relaxed me. Now, I wasn't like necessarily dealing with anxiety yesterday. I mean, that's what I got that for to deal with anxiety specifically for when I have those uh, just anxious moments. I'll make uh, a cup or two of these. Um, but the, I, the feelings of it, it definitely calmed me down. So I'm hopeful for that one. And then this morning, I had the genius one. And let me tell you the mental clarity I have recording this week's episodes of the podcast. Uh, like, I feel mentally sharp. My ability to speak last week... Like, I mean, my weeks fluctuate. I record all seven episodes on the same day. You know, it usually takes me an hour or two uh, to record the all, all seven episodes of the show. And last week, I was just, just in a mental fog. Yesterday, I woke up with a migraine and just generally wasn't feeling that great for the migraine and uh, just had like this, I felt so stupid yesterday. All the, like I felt like my brain was running on twenty percent power, and like I, I just felt dumb. I barely got. I didn't have much to do. Just prep for today, but it was just like my brain. I could feel my brain not working because of the migraine. Just shut it down. Um, but today, I drank two two of these genius cups, and uh, just yeah, just like awake alert like my, i can i feel like my brain's working and accessing thoughts a lot better uh it's just I, so far so good let's put it that way so far so good so i'm gonna order more of these uh and they're nice because like i don't need to drink this genius one is pretty much just what i'm gonna drink before recording the podcast i don't necessarily need it Unless there's something else, like I'm, I'm going to have a meeting with somebody, which I don't have meetings with anybody. I don't talk to anybody. But if I need my brain to be functioning at a high level, I'll be drinking this genius stuff. And this de-stress tea is, is mainly for when I have anxiety or panic attacks. Um, so we'll see. I haven't had a chance to necessarily test this out yet. I haven't had the, str the, the anxiety or, or panic attacks that I normally get. Uh, but when I do, I have these. So, and they taste good, by the way, which is nice. This is an added added benefit of these these teas. Um, and then I just got standard tea for like caffeine, which tea has more caffeine in it, just a little bit less. You're just not using as much. So, I'm hoping that the caffeine in the tea that I get doesn't give me anxiety. It doesn't like it doesn't get give me those feelings that that coffee sometimes does, jitteriness. Not that cold brew does it as much, but still just, I don't know. I'm just taking a break from coffee. And it's nice because I can just, I can make the tea very easily as I need it, as opposed to with coffee, I'm doing, with cold brew, I'm doing like this giant jug of it. And it's just, I mean, it's nice that it's convenient. It's always there, but it takes a day. I got to grind all the coffee up, put it in the bag, put the bag in the water, and then I have to soak it for 24 hours before it's ready to drink. And this is just like as needed. Like if I'm having a panic attack, oh, I'll just go brew some tea. And I can always put ice in it to cool it down, which is what I've been doing. But when it starts to cool down in the winter, you know, it's, it'll be fun. It'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, that's my thing. I'm getting into tea. 
for supplements. It's got all the things. Just to time, just for me, it it offers more to regulate my mood than just coffee does. Because I was using basically using coffee and alcohol in ways to deal with stress and panic attacks and wake up. And now this is I just feel more fresh. I'm sleeping better, obviously. It's also starting to cool down a bit, which is nice. Um, you know, it's still over 100 degrees during the day, but at least at night it's dipping below 70 finally. Or not 70, below 80. I think it got to like 72 or something like that. It's been like the coolest it's gotten. Uh, but yeah, tea. I'm, I'm getting into tea. Nothing like, I'm not getting loose tea, even though the teapot I got can, has the little infuser thing so I can put loose tea in it if I wanted to. But just getting this pre-packaged ones that are for certain things. Like I'm going to have like my everyday tea that I drink throughout the day. Probably like green tea. You know, I'll probably be drinking a lot of green tea. But it's like something that I can drink throughout the day. I can wake up, make a thing of tea that's designed for me to help wake up. And then like if I have any stress or whatever throughout the day, I can do the de-stressor one. Like it's just, it makes more sense for me. So we'll see. We'll see how it all works out. I'm sure I'll do updates on everything. And I'll get back to drinking. I enjoy alcohol. I enjoy getting a little buzz, just getting, you know, just turning my brain off a little bit. Definitely does help me sleep. Like, you know, when your brain's just awake all the time, it's, it's, it's hard to go to sleep sometimes, especially, like, if I have to wake up early for anything, uh, which I'm having to do more so uh, more recently. Uh, but yeah, so I'm getting rid of the booze. I was having a lot of like back, pro I was having a lot of like cramps in like w places that they just were not going away. And it was like, and I took an edible. And I did my, the, my favorite thing to do. One of my favorite things to do on an edible is stretching. And it's not something I, I, I think of. It's not like on my brain. It's just something I find myself doing. It feels so good to stretch when you're on an edible. And I've been having, like, my whole right side, you know, my, my uh, leg, my knee, my, my ankles, my, my, all my side, my right side, my shoulder, all this stuff, like, super tense. And it was just, like, I needed to just, like, let me just do a reset on everything. Took the edible. Did all the stretching. I felt, like, far less pain since doing that i mean i still you know i'm still trying to stretch certain things out i found a few stretches that that really felt really good uh so i did that with the edible um but yeah so that's kind of been my personal just trying to deal with my mental and physical pain that i've been been dealing with uh also did some live painting so now what i'm doing with um when i paint the many faces uh, I'm going to do it weekly. Every Thursday is the goal. Every Thursday, the timing may change. I want to do it at 4.20 p.m. It just feels like a good time in the afternoon. I can wake up. I can do other things uh, and then just do that. And I'm just doing the paintings for the, the next week. So there's seven paintings I'll do every Thursday, uh, which you'll be able to watch live on Twitch, twitch.tv uh, slash inspired disorder is my Twitch account where you can watch me paint live and play Call of Duty Mobile. Those are the two things I do on Twitch. Uh, but I want to do the live painting on a, like a regular scheduled time and day. So I'm shooting for Thursdays because they make the most sense. S Friday I'll be able to edit all the video and, and take the pictures and update the website and all that. Um, and then the archive of the live painting will be uh, through the Patreon page, patreon.com slash inspired disorder. So if you become a Patreon uh, subscriber, you'll get all the other benefits. Binge the full week of this show ad-free. Get a discount code to the many faces. You can watch the, the live painting of all of the faces, which you can kind of see in time-lapse form in a different angle um, later. But that's kind of the format right now. Uh, the Rays plays, which is me playing Call of Duty mobile, uh, those I, I, I'll just do randomly on Twitch. No real, I mean, usually in the mornings. But what I'm trying to do is they're all archived on my YouTube page, youtube.com slash inspired disorder. 
Uh, so every game I play of Call of Duty, uh, I archive over on YouTube, and then they get released every day. There's a new one. So I, I'm kind of stockpiling them, make sure I have a stockpile, and then they, you know, they get released every day, 4.30 p- p.m. Uh, every day, a new game, a new match of me playing uh, Call of Duty Mobile, uh, I do the the uh, battle royale, the classic battle royale, uh, single player. I don't have a team, just me, the last one to survive. Uh, they just did an update, which uh, brought along with some new guns, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, there's new building, like they've done some changes, like structurally on the 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 map. Like there's new buildings and new roads and. Things are slightly different in a different place than they were before, uh, which I enjoy. I enjoy that the game kind of evolves and changes. But uh, that I play, you know, I'll just play when I feel like it. But uh, every day there'll be a new one released on YouTube, hopefully forever. And those are going to be, those are 20 to 30 minutes long, those videos. Uh, I'm not doing commentary on those videos right now because I don't feel like it. I like to listen to podcasts while I play. I don't really feel like narrating or talking while I play. Um, eventually, I'm sure I'll do that, but it's just me playing, and it's fun. I've rewatched them, and it's kind of fun to watch. There's kind of crazy things that happen. It's like watching, uh, you know, an independent movie, an uh, independent action movie where nobody speaks. Nobody speaks, but you know, it's it gets intense. Um, so that's what I'm doing. And then, of course, you know, the migraine I had Saturday, which just made me feel stupid. It just, it sucks taking a break from alcohol, which on some level I feel contributes to a lot of the migraines I get. Not that I get them a lot, but I get them fairly regularly. Like once a month I'll get a migraine usually. Uh, This past month I've gotten two, almost like once a week. It feels like I get a migraine. And I took a break from drinking, so it's like I know it's not alcohol that caused it. I haven't had a drink in, like, uh, over a week. But when you wake up and you feel like... It, migraines sometimes feel like that he- headache when you're hungover. You know? It, they, you know, your he- head really hurts. Sometimes it causes nausea. Um, but for me, it does usually causes nausea. But, yeah, I woke up Saturday, yesterday, and just... It starts like with, it feels like dull, like just a dull headache. And then it just grows and grows and grows. And it's just like audio hurts, makes me nauseous. Bright lights make me nauseous. And it's just, I, thankfully I have some, the migraine medicine that I got over the counter stuff. Um, so I was able to take some of that and go back to sleep for a couple hours to, so by the time I woke up again, it had, kicked in and it went away but my brain i think it was just the trauma from my brain dealing with the migraine that it was just like out of it and tired and just like dumb all day yesterday just could not think but uh yeah that's been my week getting into tea doing the live painting stuff uh regularly it's like the only it's like with the artwork it's i don't know why i've been so Uh, hesitant to do it on a weekly basis i've been doing like big batches which i do enjoy and then i just take a few weeks off but this is going to be every week i'm doing seven paintings that you can watch me do on twitch.tv slash inspired disorder uh thursdays 420 hopefully this coming thursday i probably won't be able to do it at 420 uh might do it earlier Uh, most likely we'll be doing it earlier in the day uh, unless the plans that I, I'm, I have to do are changed. But, uh, yeah, it's been my week. Hope everybody's getting vaccinated, staying safe, wearing your masks, being nice people, being good people, uh, enjoying your life, uh, trying to survive, and uh, hopefully everything will, uh, you know, work out in the end uh, or whatever. I don't know. Just enjoy, enjoy the now. Put it that way. Enjoy the now. Be thankful for the now and uh, realize that... W- we don't know what's going to happen. We can't imagine the, the you can't imagine the reality that's going to happen. Nobody would have thought Trump would have been. I mean, come on. I mean, some people probably did. 
Get yourself some amazing coffee over at stationhousecoffee.com and follow Station House Coffee on Instagram. That's your place for small batch, single origin, premium coffee brewed in Thetford Center, Vermont, shipped directly to you. Go now to stationhousecoffee.com and order yourself some amazing coffee. And don't forget to follow Station House Coffee. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on IGTV, YouTube, and everywhere else podcasts are found. Binge the full week ad free over at patreon.com slash inspired disorder. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at inspireddisorder.com. Follow the show on Instagram at Ray Taylor Show. Have a wonderful week, everybody. Peace. Oh!